Puerto Rico's premier destination on vacation Puerto Rico is a great destination in the Caribbean. She is like being in two worlds, the Caribbean and America. This means that it has a level of prosperity and stability not found in other Caribbean islands. And being part of the Hispanic Caribbean gives it its special exotic flavor. In other words, you'll get the beautiful blue Caribbean and beaches that the world loves. But you can also get American streets, shopping, currency, banks, stores, and more. This is a great combination. Puerto Rico was once a sugar plantation colony, so there are many African slaves. This resulted in a very different culture from other Latin American countries that did not have strong contributions from African descendants. Hispanic Caribbeans brought to the world-famous Latin music such as samba, merengue, rumba and salsa. Similar to the southern United States where the African-American population brought jazz, blues, rock and roll, soul, R&B, and more to the world. This tropical European-African hybrid is vibrant and vibrant. Created Creole. Culture. Where this happened. There is really something that visitors will explore and discover. If you want to explore Puerto Rico yourself, you can rent a car to see the sights. Driving in Puerto Rico is a bit crazy. However, always check all mirrors. No problem. When it comes to where to stay, it's probably best to find a hotel overlooking the beach. There are several such great hotels in the Condado district, south of San Juan on the north coast of the island. Old San Juan is a must-see. You can easily walk around for a few hours. It's a bit rugged, so it's a good idea to take a free trolley bus to El Moro Fort and back through the town. No matter what your budget, there are plenty of dining options. One of his suggestions I have is to have breakfast at La Bombonera, be one of the oldest establishments in town. Another recommended spot is El Yunk Rainforest, on the east side of the island. Once there, you can also spend the afternoon at Luquillo Beach. For charming Puerto Rican architecture, head to Ponce on the south coast. West of San Juan on the north shore is the Arecibo Observatory. James Bonds, Goldeneye, and Jody Foster's, Contact, were also filmed here. Another place I recommend is the Las Cabezas de San Juan Nature Reserve on the northeastern tip of the island. Guided tours of the reserve are available by electric trolley, but must be booked in advance. There is a lot to do here. Once there, consider a detour to a small island on the east coast of Vieques or Culebra. The beach is amazing. On the other side of the island, Rincon is definitely recommended. It's a very laid-back area great beaches, good surfing, good restaurants and lots of things to do nearby. Try local food stalls and enjoy everything the island offers. The cuisine has everything you can imagine. In the Condado area, try seafood at Milo's. In Old San Juan, try the Caribbean style the Parrot Club or Tantra for Indian cuisine. If you're single or traveling alone and in your 30s, 40s, 50s, or his active 60s, consider spending the weekend with other singles his age. I really enjoy exploring Puerto Rico.